What's up guys, Aaron here. Apple has just released iOS 8 beta 4. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes that have occurred. So Apple today released the fourth beta of iOS 8, which brings a number of improvement changes as well as much needed bug fixes to the beta software. Now iOS 8 beta 4 includes several minor interface tweaks as well as modifications that makes the beta OS feel both faster as well as more polished. So first off is Control Center. Now Control Center has seen a redesign that moves the black borders around the icons on both the top and bottom and turns the icons white when activated. Next there's a change in display settings. There's a new display and brightness section and this has been unbundled from wallpaper with options to adjust the screen brightness, text size, and activate bold text. Next up is Tips. Now this Tips application gives users tips about their new iOS device and more specifically iOS 8. Next is HomeKit. The privacy section of the Settings app has gained a new home data icon. Next up is Messages. The Messages sections of the Settings app has new options for message storage that includes separate expiration options for audio and video messages. The text to type option in Messages now displays spoken text in real time rather than waiting for the entire message to be spoke. Next is Bug Reporter. Now the Bug Reporter app that came installed on previous betas is no longer there. Next is Handoff and Suggested Apps. Now there's new options in the settings application to toggle on and off handoff, but it doesn't appear to be present on the iPhone 4S. There's also a new section that allows users to toggle on the suggested app, which offers applications up to you relevant of your location. Next up is Safari Bookmarks. The icon for bookmarks in Safari has been tweaked slightly. Now in the image above, the new version is on the top and the old version is on the bottom. Next up is Contacts. Under the Mail, Calendars, and Contacts, there's a new option to toggle off Favorites and Recents for contacts within the app switcher. Next up is keyboard settings. The option to toggle on the quick type keyboard within the keyboard section of the settings app is now labeled as predictive instead of quick type. Next up is spotlight search. And there's new options to erase voice memos as well as being web results straight from the spotlight search. Next up is mail. Swipe left as well as swipe right functions in the mail application can now be assigned for different functionalities. Next up is health. Next up is health. The calories section of the health application has been split into active, dietary, as well as resting calories. Next is emoji keyboard icon. The icon for emoji on the keyboard has been updated with a very happy looking smile. And lastly, iCloud Photo Library. It is now possible to set a length of time when pausing iCloud Photo Library in the iCloud section of the settings app. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for me on this one. This is just a quick heads up on some of the features that have gotten updated and got brought to iOS 8 in Beta 4. And I'll be bringing you guys a full comprehensive review of iOS 8 once it is released to the public. And I'll also be doing an iPhone 6 giveaway here on the channel as well. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so. Be sure to drop a thumbs up down below. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.